Hey, what's up guys? I just got a little dark. Um, I wanted to share a little mindset car chat with you guys. Um, I'm getting ready to do this with my clients and hire. Um, we do a mindset Monday call every night and it's got me thinking and I'm like applying it to myself right now as I'm thinking about some triggers that I've had lately. And I love to do this process along with my clients. It's something that they can do anytime um, to kind of process triggers and the stories that are created by those triggers. And that's what I want to talk about tonight. This is really helpful for me too. I do it alongside my clients. I do it often. Um, and a lot of this comes from the work of Byron Katie, but I, I change it a little bit. And I want to share this with you guys. I think it's so helpful. And it, this, this process we do is called the map and it has 25 questions. We go really in depth, but there's a, I'm going to summarize it for you guys and try this the next time you get triggered by something because it helps me a lot. It usually leans me into compassion because when you get triggered and you're upset and angry, there's usually not a lot of compassion involved. But when you do this practice, it like opens you up a little bit to compassion and things start to change, right? So basically it's like, okay, what was your trigger? So think about something you've been triggered by lately, maybe on uh, Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> Anybody else get triggered by some stuff? Hi, <laughs> welcome to the club. Um, okay. So first you identify what your trigger was and the, the helpful thing after you identify the trigger is figuring out what the story is that's created by the trigger. And that's what often we don't realize. And that's really very, um, very much from the work of Byron Katie is we have these stories, right? And so like, let's say, let's say your mom, uh, criticize what something about your life. Right. And so what's the story created by that? Oh, my mom doesn't think I'm good enough. Uh, my, my mom is a hypercritical, you know what, <laughs> right? Like what is the story that you now have about that? My dad never understands me. My dad is so arrogant, right? There's some sort of story. Sorry, it's getting kind of dark. Hi. Um, the, the story gets created by the trigger. So figure out what the story is, right? There's usually a lot of them, but you just work on one at a time. And then after you figured out the story that's created by the trigger, then you have to think of two other possible stories that could possibly be true in the scenario. Now we go into things like, how do you feel when you believe that initial story is true? How do you see yourself? How do you see them? Well, you know, that's very Byron Katie ish. But after that, um, you start to think of two other possible stories and this is where you open your mind a little bit. This is where you, uh, grow up and get mature and realize that every single thought that you have doesn't mean it's necessarily the right one. And if it's causing you anger and stress, it's not aligned. It's not. We always think it is. And I'm guilty of it. You guys see me. I get triggered all the time. I fully own that. So I do my freaking work. <laughs> um, but so let's say two other possible scenarios. Maybe mom has guilt because she puts a ton of pressure on herself to be the perfect mom. And so she puts those expectations on me. Maybe my mom doesn't feel good enough as a mom, you know, or maybe, uh, my mom is, uh, worried about me. Maybe that's the scenario, but all I'm seeing it is through, I'm seeing it as judgment, right? Maybe my mom loves me and this is her way of expressing it. So we come up with two other stories and then you start to choose what you want. Like what, what do you want for yourself? What do you want for her? What do you want in this relationship? And you choose the story that brings you the things that you want. And it's not denying reality because I don't think there is such thing as reality. <laughs> there, it's, it's our perception that creates our reality. So, um, so much of this I have learned from Catherine Dixon, by the way, Clarity Coaching Institute. I'm going to have to turn this sucker on. I'm in a rental car right now. Oh God. Hi. <laughs> Um, yeah, Clarity Coaching Institute. She facilitates the work of Byron Katie. She's freaking amazing. She's been doing it for over 20 years on my podcast too. Check Catherine Nixon out. But I just wanted to share that in a nutshell for you guys. Just as something, you know, next time you get triggered by somebody and you're super angry and upset and emotional, try to figure out what the story is that you've created now because of that trigger. And then two other possible stories that might be true. And it's crazy how you can feel, you can literally feel yourself coming into peace when you choose a story that's more aligned and feels more high vibe. What's that? I can't see the emojis. I gotta, I gotta watch the road. <laughs> Is that a monkey? <laughs> Is that me? Um, anyway, so yeah, try that guys. Try it. It's, it's, I have to do it all the time. I got triggered by like multiple things today and I'm like, okay, okay. What is the story I've created now because of this? And what are a couple other possible stories? And man, it opens you up. It's good. It's good, good shit. So try that. Just want to share that with you guys. Um, 
any of my clients who've worked in hire, by the way, they like keep access to this thing forever. It's cool. It's cool. We call it the map. Um, and we work out our stuff so that we can get more aligned with the stories that we have about reality that keep us happy and alignment and with our higher selves. So just want to pass that little nugget along to you guys. Okay. Hope you're having a great night. Bye.